Astronomers noticed a faint speck drifting into our solar system. They named it 3I Atlas, the third interstellar object ever confirmed. But this one refuses to behave like a comet. Its orbit slides almost too perfectly along the plane of the planets. Its light burns brighter than it should, yet its tail is nearly absent. And inside its haze, telescopes detect a chemical fingerprint that doesn't belong. Carbon dioxide, cyanide, and nickel gas with no iron. A mixture some say looks less like nature and more like industry. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb asked the question most others wouldn't. What if this isn't a comet at all? What if 3i Atlas was a craft? Most dismiss the idea, and yet the anomalies remain. From its uncanny orbit, to its impossible chemistry, to the moment this visitor vanishes behind the sun, blind to every eye on Earth. Is 3i Atlas just another comet, or the first time humanity has watched another civilization pass by? 3i Atlas is fast, faster than anything we've ever seen wander into our solar system. Its speed relative to the sun is more than 130,000 miles per hour. At that pace, it could cover the distance from Earth to the moon in less than three hours. Velocity like this has consequences. It makes interception nearly impossible. It multiplies the violence of any collision. A body this size, moving this fast, carries the energy to scar planets. Such a trajectory paired with small course adjustments could let the object intersect with nearby planets. In the logic of the dark forest hypothesis, speed is a weapon. The dark forest hypothesis is a thought experiment in cosmic paranoia. Imagine the universe as a forest at night, every civilization a hunter in the dark, armed and waiting. Everyone avoids making contact or calling out. No one wants to reveal themselves because no one is certain who is the prey and who is the predator. As a result, alien civilizations remain quiet to avoid becoming targets, or they are hostile and actively targeting others. An object like 3i Atlas would fit that logic perfectly, too fast to intercept, too fast to react, an untouchable weapon or scout that could devastate before anyone even knew it was there. Astronomers counter that speed is exactly what we should expect. Only fast-moving objects escape their parent stars to wonder interstellar space. 3i Atlas's velocity may be extreme, but it's also natural, the price of freedom from a distant sun. When astronomers first turned their instruments toward 3i Atlas, what they saw was far brighter than any object at that distance. If that glow came from a solid nucleus alone, the core would have to be a colossus, tens of kilometers across, with some analyses suggesting up to 46 kilometers in diameter. That would make it one of the largest interstellar objects ever observed, a dinosaur killer drifting in from another star. The other option is worse in its own way. Perhaps the nucleus isn't massive at all. Perhaps the brightness comes from an unusually dense coma a shroud of dust reflecting sunlight. But if that were the case, then where was the tail? Hubble's images in July showed no great plume stretching behind the object. Instead, the haze was strangely compact, even tilted slightly toward the sun, not trailing off, but glowing forward, as if illuminating the path ahead. Later observations began to soften the mystery by August, a faint tail finally appeared. Observations confirmed that over 99% of the light was from coma dust, not a massive nucleus, and the Hubble placed the solid core under about five or six kilometers in size. It wasn't monstrous, it wasn't impossible, but that wasn't the end of the mystery. 
Spectrographs analyzing the chemical fingerprints of light emanating from 3 Eye Atlas showed a mixture unlike any other. Most comets vent water vapor when warmed by the sun, not this one. Its coma was dominated by carbon dioxide. In fact, over 90% of the measured gas was CO2. Water as almost an afterthought, a faint signature buried in the data. Then came the toxins. Cyanide gas, faint but climbing, surged faster as the comet drew closer. And most unsettling of all, clear spectral lines of nickel vapor without iron. In nature, nickel and iron are twins, forged together in supernovae, found side by side in meteorites. When comets release one, they almost always release the other. But here, iron was absent. Nickel streamed freely in the void, alone. Loeb suggested that nickel without iron is a signature of industrial production of nickel alloys. On Earth, the way we refine nickel is through an exotic gas, a molecule rare in nature but routine in factories. The resemblance was chilling, a comet venting like a foundry. Mainstream scientists offered counterpoints. They suggested that these gases can form naturally if provided with the right materials. Exotic, but not impossible. But for this object, a relic forged in the nursery of another star, the anomalies would continue. On October 29th, 2025, 3 i Atlas will make its closest approach to the sun, its perihelion. At that exact moment, the glare from the solar rays will blind every telescope we have. At this point, the sun will stand perfectly in the middle of Earth and the object. Hidden in the solar glare, its next move would be invisible to us. Avi Loeb has suggested that this is the perfect opportunity for a clandestine maneuver, either to release survey drones, trim speed, or even change directions. Tracing its trajectory backward, astronomers estimate 3 i Atlas slipped into the outer solar system nearly 8,000 years ago, around the same time humanity was pressing symbols into clay. While we were learning to write our history, it was already here, writing its own path through the dark. Six anomalies, in orbit seemingly too precise, a retrograde path against the current, what appears to be intentional flybys of nearby planets, a brightness that defied logic, a chemical plume of carbon dioxide, cyanide, and nickel without iron, and a perihelion hidden in the sun's glare at a speed that prevents interception. Avi Loeb himself has admitted that this is largely a pedagogical exercise, that the most likely outcome is that 3 i Atlas is a completely natural interstellar traveler. Yet the unease remains. As it carves across our sky, we are forced to ask, what happens the day one of these visitors isn't just rocks and chemistry? 3 i Atlas will soon vanish, leaving only data and doubt, but the possibilities it stirred will linger. If the universe can send us a comet this strange, what else might be on its way?